All right, so what you out here learning today is that you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are God's chosen people according to the Bible. That's right. The Most High God gave you laws and commandments to govern yourself. All right, so sisters, all right, are y'all paying attention? We're going to give you some scriptures, all right? What you got? Proverbs chapter 28, verse 13. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. That's right. All right, so the thing is right now, sis, we're revealing sin, okay? Revealing sin so that our people can get healed, so that our people can turn themselves around and be righteous men and women of the Most High God, all right? So we're going to find out what sin is according to the Bible. Y'all know what sin is? You know what sin is, sis? What sin? Anything that keeps you away from God. Anything that keeps you away from God? What sin, sis? Say again. Something that's not of God. Okay, what would you say, sis? What sin? Okay, brother, you know what sin is? Transgression of the law. Transgression of the law. Very good. All praise. All right, let's get that. All right, because the Bible defines itself. All right, come on. First John chapter three verse four. Uh huh. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. Uh -huh. For sin is the transgression of the law. All right, so read that from the top again, okay? First John chapter 3, verse 4. Uh -huh. Whosoever committed sin, so, whosoever committed sin, come on, transgresseth also the law. Come on. For sin is, for sin is, the transgression of the law. The transgression of the law. So the soldier had just brought out about women wearing dresses, all right? And uh, your brother's wearing pants, all right? It'll be a funny, day. it'll look a little weird to have a brother walking around in a dress, right? That's not of God, that's an abomination, all right? So let, we're gonna show you something else. We're gonna show you something else, uh, hold that. And I'll never put these pants on again if you can straighten me out. All right, go, go ahead, ask your question. But you gotta let me ask, ask my question now. You can't cut me off, let me ask, ask my question. Ask your question, ask your question. First, if I had a coloring box, and in my coloring box, where the white man say the sky is blue, and I scratch out blue and put green on there, why does he have to be right? Is it because he's white? Can green be blue if I say it's blue? You understand what I'm saying? He, the white man taught us that a woman is to wear a dress and a man is to wear pants. No. What? The, we didn't the, get that the, from a black so, man. so-called white man. We got that from a the white so man. so-called white man taught our women to wear pants. Well, same thing, and same And our thing. men to, to wear, wear dresses. Mm -hmm. It came to the point even to the fact that wear our pants. Um, but my thing is, hope, if hope, I say that, that's, that's a, a pair of pants, get, and um, I say this, get, this is a dress, uh, this is what the white man told us, and so, this is what I'm saying. I may say she got on a pair of pants. And, 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 and I may say I have on a dress. Do I have to be wrong because I'm black? I mean, is it, sis, is, is, is that really a dress? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who told us that? Sis, all right. Did that Check this out, check man? this out. Listen, pay attention, paying attention. All right, listen up. The laws of God were given to the children of Israel. Right, right. Let's go back to, let me get that, what you got in Romans, okay? Did All right, hold that in our head. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait okay. a minute. Let's get that in Romans, okay? We're going to explain something very carefully. Come on, read. Romans chapter 1, verse 20, 25. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? All right, so hold on, sisters. Don't, don't leave. Don't go, all right? So we're going over right now. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Come on. And worship and serve the creature more than the creator. Who worship and serve the creature more than uh, the creator. So, when we post this up in our houses, you're serving the white man. Before this image, uh, <laughs> before this image, there was no image of Christ that was white in color. You understand that? All right? Pope Alexander VI commissioned Leonardo da Vinci to paint this image of Caesar Boger as the image of Christ. Before that, every image was black, all right? So, your so-called white man is the one who actually uh, changed the truth of God into a lie. Let's get that uh, Second Thessalonians. So, so we're gonna find out, what, what does Jesus look like? So, what, so she's saying, will she lose her salvation because she have on a pair of pants? No, yes. no, what I'm saying yes. is, 
That was told to us by the white man. The white man said, what you have on is a dress. Yeah. And they said, what I have on is a, is a pair of pants. Right. Okay, that's what the white go, man Go to Exodus 28 and 41. Look it up. Let's, let's just cut it now. Why is he right? So Why now, we, we're going to find out right now what the Bible says. Exodus 21. Now, we're here to hear what the Bible says. Right. Not what people's vain opinion says, all right? right. Let's hear what the Bible says. Let's, hear, let's see who pants was given to. Exodus 28 41. Exodus chapter 28, verse 41. And thou shalt put them upon Aaron. Jump up a verse. 39. Go to 39. Verse 39. And thou shalt embroider the coat of fine linen. So about Aaron. Aaron. Go ahead. Read. Of fine linen. And thou shalt make the metri of fine linen. And so thou, he had a metri on. Go ahead. And thou shalt make the girdle of needlework. Of needlework, meaning fine clothing, fine fabrics. Go ahead. And for Aaron's sons. And for whom? Aaron's sons. So we're talking about Aaron's sons. Aaron's daughters? Aaron's sons. So we're talking about men, correct? Right. Read. Thou shalt make coats, and thou shalt make them for girdles and bonnets, and shalt make for them for glory and for beauty. Read on. And thou shalt put them upon Aaron thy brother and his with sons the with the him. Read. And shall uh, anoint them, and consecrate them, and sanctify them, that they may minister unto me and the priest's office. So it's talking about Aaron's sons. Keep, keep in mind the subject matter. Aaron's sons. Men. Read on. And thou shalt make them linen breeches. Thou shalt what? Make them linen breeches. What did he call breeches in the South? What did he call breeches in the South? Pants. Breeches, right? What are breeches? Pants. Those are pants. So who was the pants given to? The is males or females? Males. Thank you. It wasn't given to females. It was given to men to wear, okay? Because what happened when we came out of Egypt? Anybody know? Leviticus 18 and 1. What happened when we came out of Egypt? We were doing as the Egyptians. So remember, when you look at the walls of Egypt, you will see your people on the, on the walls of Egypt in linen, linen, little linen cloths. You won't see them in pants, right? Why not? Because we was doing as the Egyptians did. Right. You understand? So now we coming out of Egypt, Most High God said, no, put the pants on the men. Not on the women, on the men. Right. That's right. That's my point. Read. Leviticus chapter 18, verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak unto who? The hey, children listen to the of Bible. Yeah, listen yeah. to the Bible. The Read. children of Israel. So is this message is to the children of Israel, which you are. You're not Africans. You're not black. You're not Negro, none of that. You right. are God's chosen people. Right. You're right. Right. Israelites. Remember that. Your royalty. But guess what? In your, you're not in your royal state right now. Are you? Right. I am. You got no. You, well, as a dress, yes. For, for your, as far as your dress, yes. But you're not in your royal state, meaning you're not ruling. Yes. Right? We're on the bottom. We pay bills. You, you work for McDonald's. You got a. You probably got a job, mom. You got a job. We all got jobs. We all got to work for these people. Right? So we're not in our royal state. Right, right. Read it again. Leviticus 18 and verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel. Read. And say unto them, I am the Lord your God. Read. After the doings of the land of Egypt. After the doings of the land of Egypt. Do you know you're in spiritual Egypt now? The church teach you that, sis? Read it out. That you're in spiritual This is spiritual Egypt. Yeah. The same thing going on in Egypt. Back there in Egypt is going on right now. Yeah, Guess what? You was a slave in Egypt? Yep, right Guess now. what? You a slave now. That's right. Right. You don't work for your own people. True. You work for the damn white man. Right. Right. How many of us own these, these, these skyscrapers here? How many of us you own these buildings here? Any of us? Not a near one. We're in slavery. We're still in a form of captivity. That's right. right. You understand? That's true. Read. After the doings of the land of Egypt. After the doings of the land of Egypt, when you had those little loin cloths on, Wherein ye dwelt, shall ye not do. Now go back to Exodus. So, Most High God said, don't do after the manners that you learn. Guess what we're telling you here in America? Don't do after the manners that you learn. No, you gotta go back to the laws of God. You understand? Read. Exodus 28 and 42. verse 42. And thou shalt make them live. Stop. Thou shalt make them. Who's the them, Mom? Huh? Yeah. No. Who's the them? And thou shalt make them linen breeches. Stop. Okay. Linen breeches. Who's the them? The man. The, thank Who you. The men. Stop. 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 You hear the cause confusion. Stop. Stop. Linen breeches. Linen breeches. To, 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 to wear. 
breeches to cover their nakedness. To cover the men's nakedness. So what was the woman given? She was given a dress or a skirt. The men was given linen breeches, meaning pants, to cover their nakedness for when they do the service of the Most High God. He didn't want the man's rod swinging. So he gave them what? Linen breeches or pants, not the woman. Now, the white man created what's called women's pants. Now, what does women's pants do for you? It keeps you, it puts a masculine uh, uh, spirit on you. Right. You don't see a woman in a nice dress uh, uh, at, at Waffle House fighting, fighting after the club. Right. You see women dressed in a, a tight leggings. They, they got the, the tight jeans on and they swinging on each other, beating each other up. It, it puts a masculine spirit on you. Right. 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 Read it again. It says, and thou shalt make them linen breeches to cover their nakedness. From the loins even unto the thighs they shall reach. Read. And they shall be upon Aaron and upon his sons. Upon who? And upon his sons. His daughters. His sons. His females. His sons. His sons. His sons. Hey, the males. Read. When they come in unto the tabernacle of the congregation. So y'all understand that? Y'all understand? I know. I know you don't, because you're the devil to Bible speech. Yes, 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 you are. You know you're the devil. You've been here plenty of years. Stop, stop. You know, you know why I call her the devil? She's been here a long time. No, don't get don't get no, offended. No, this is the devil, right? She's here to cause confusion. No, no, go, go, to, go back to Romans well, 1. I'm just saying that we learned what breaches are from the white man. No, we did not. We learned it from what the Bible says. Yeah, but how do we know what it is? Let Romans chapter 1 verse 25, who changed the truth of God into a lie. So, guess what, did you go to theology school? I did. Not, yeah, I did. That's, that's, right. that's the point right here. She went to theology school. Yeah. Meaning what? She learned the doctrine of who? That's did she learn about a black Christ? I and that the Jews are black? And I did, they did try to teach that. They, no, they taught this right here. Yeah, they I, teach the white man as God, right, the white right, man right. as Christ. To do what? To keep you as slaves in America. To keep you indoctrinated with their garbage. So you will never rise up. You will never do what the Bible says because your pastor teaching you this God. And this God says what? The laws of God are done away with. I can do whatever the hell I want. That's what church teaches. You can do whatever you want. But guess what? Guess what we're here to tell you? Hold on, one second. First Corinthians 6 and... First Corinthians... No, 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 you were bought with a price. Uh, Six and 19. I want, to, I want y'all to hear something, because guess what? The Most High God made a covenant with our forefather, That's Abraham, right. that what? We would get the kingdom and we would have to keep his laws. It doesn't apply to everybody, but it does apply to us. That's why we went to slavery on slave ships. That's why we had yokes of iron on our neck. That's why we lost our identity, because we don't know who we are. That's right. You understand? Because we're in the midst of sin. We got to come back to what the Bible says. That's right. That's right. First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? You see that? Your body, brothers and sisters, is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Which is in you. Which is in you. The Holy Ghost is supposed to be in you, meaning God's law is in you. Which ye have of God, and ye are not your own. You don't belong to yourself, you belong to God. And God gave you laws, statutes, and commandments to keep. Right. For ye are bought with a price. What, what, what are they? For ye are bought with a price. You know what the, the price is? The price is the covenant that the Most High God made with our forefathers. Right. right. That you would get the kingdom. That's but right. you have to keep his laws to get that kingdom. That's That's right. Right. You understand? Everybody, you understand that, sis? Go to, go to Leviticus 13. Bring out Leviticus 13. All right, so we're going we're gonna to find out another thing that the Most High God does not like. All right? Leviticus chapter 13, verse 30. Then the priest shall see the plague, and behold, if it be in sight deeper than the skin. All right, so y'all sisters, y'all sisters, listen up. All right, right now we're going over plague. All right, this is something disgusting, detestable to the Most High God. Come on. Deeper than the skin, and there be in it a yellow thin hair, uh -huh. then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. All right. It is a dry scale, even a leprosy, unto the head or beard. All right, sis, did you know that? 
that blonde hair or yellow hair? You're a pastor? Yes, right. We don't judge you? That's right. All right, so we're going to find out what your pastor's supposed to be bringing. Let's get Malachi yeah. 2 and 7. Yeah. Yeah. So, sis, you said you're a pastor, right? We're going to go over the scripture. It don't matter. Why are you running from the Bible, sis? I ain't running from the Bible. This is the Bible. If you're a pastor, you're supposed to be you teaching know what? this Bible. No, right? Let's right. read that. Malachi yeah. chapter 2, verse 7. Come on. For the priest's lips should right, teach knowledge. All right, the priest's lips should do what? Should keep knowledge. The priest's lips should keep knowledge. So you should have known this, sis, before you put that in your head. Come on. That's they right. should seek the law at his mouth. They should seek what? Seek the law at his mouth. We just read out of Leviticus, out of the laws of God, that you're not supposed to have blind hair in your head. That is actually a plague. All right? It's leprosy. You understand? So any priest is supposed to be teaching you God's laws and commandments. If they're not teaching laws, uh, laws, statutes, and commandments of God, they're not priests of the Most High God. That's right. They are not pastors. All right. Uh, Micah chapter three and verse eleven. Micah three and eleven. All right, because your, your pastors have a benefit at being pastors. They're not being pastors for your good. They're not being pastors to build up their people. All right. They're building up to build up their own pockets. Right. A lot of they, they're, they're building up their own pockets. A lot of them still collect tithes. They say the law is done away with, but they still want to collect tithes. Right. Yeah, tithes was never money. All right, come on. Read. Micah chapter 3, verse 11. The heads thereof judge for reward. All right, so your pastors are in the church there for reward, for filthy lucre, for their own pocket. That's right. And the priests thereof teach for hire. They teach for what? For hire. They teach for what? For hire. That's for hire. right. A lot of them won't even come to your church. They won't even come and speak to you unless you got $20,000. That's right. Unless you got $5,000. That's a shame. That is a shame. All right? You, you're supposed to be giving this word of God freely. You understand? All right, come on. Finish and the prophets thereof divine for money. Yet will they learn upon, lead upon the Lord. They divine for money. So a lot of them, they'll, they'll set you in different lines and say, all right, you in the $50 line. I'm going to give you a $50 blessing. I'm going to give you a $100 line. I'm going to give you a $100 blessing. You understand? They divine for money. All right, come on. Yet will they lean upon the Lord and say, is not the Lord among us? So they always lean upon, is not the Lord with us? I got this Bentley. I got this jet. Right. Isn't the is, isn't the God isn't God with us? Bring it up. All right, come on. None evil can come upon us. All right, so they say none evil can come upon us. But your priest is supposed to be teaching the Most High God's law, statutes, and commandments. So, sis, do you understand what we're going over right now? Right now, we're teaching the nationality of the Bible. That the law, statutes, and commandments was given to the children of Israel. All right. We went into slavery on other slave ships. All right. We went into slavery, all right? And that was because we did not keep the law of statutes for whatever God. All right? So let's get uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass okay. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So it said, the scripture just said, it shall come to pass. If you do not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, come on. To observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes which I command thee this day. Come on. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So let's jump to verse 45, all right? And we're just going through just to give you the scheme of things real quick, sis, all right? Because I know you just woke up. You, um... You in Christianity or you've been going to church before? You've been to church before? Yeah, I surrendered my life in 2011. You surrendered your life in 2011? All right, so a lot of times it's like we learn the wrong way. So right now we're going over a national approach to the Bible, all right? And we're going to show you, all right? So, all right, let's, let's, hold that. let's get, uh, uh, let's go to 45. Deuteronomy 28 verse 45. You said you did. Do you know your nationality? You know who you are. So you understand that black is just a color. You turn around and look at these brothers' boots and pants. What color are those boots and pants? Black. They're black, right? Look at your arms. Hold your arms like But what, I, what am I? What are you? You are Israelite according to the Bible. Yes, and we're going to show you with this scripture right here. Come on. Verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee come and shall pursue thee okay. and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. All right, so all these curses shall overcome thee, pursue thee until thou be destroyed. So no matter where you go as a people, no matter where you were scattered across the four corners of the earth, these curses will follow you, and they will overcome you, all right? Come on. Because thou hearkenest not 
unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because we didn't keep God's laws and commandments. Come on. To keep his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes which he commanded thee. Come on, read. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So these curses upon our people for a sign. Come on. And for a wonder. Uh -huh. And upon thy seed forever. So, sis, when you see this sign right here, this is going over here because these people fall in line with these curses. Right. All of these curses happen to these people on the signs, your blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Genesis chapter uh, 49 and verse 1. Why so, why is the curse so, came on us? So, we were disobedient. Let's, let's go back. Let's read that again. Let's read that again. We need to break this curse. That's a very good question. Read that Deuteronomy again. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes which so, I come. Sis, you, you paying attention? We're going over. I know this brother trying to distract you. Don't let him distract you, all right? Come on. Read. To observe to do all his commandments. Read it from the top again. <laughs> Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So it said, shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Come on. To observe to do all his commandments. To observe, not just to pay attention, but to do them right. as well. Come on. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, since you understand, the curses came upon us because we didn't keep God's laws and commandments. You understand? All right, so let's see. This is a major curse that happened to our people, all right? Let's go to verse uh, 68. All right? So we're going to cut straight to the chase, sis, before you ask the next question, okay? All right? Verse 68. So, before we said that there would be a sign and for a wonder. So if you want Burger King, how do you know you're going to the, the right place? Because it's a Burger King sign right over it, right? Or if you're going to Kmart, how do you know you're going into the right place? Because that sign is over there. So how do you know you're speaking to the right people? Because the sign is on us. The curses is on us, all right? You understand? Come on. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So a lot of people think that we are Egyptians, that our people, because we have dark skin, that we are Egyptian. But we're not Egyptians. Let's find out what Egypt means according to the Bible, all right? Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 8. Uh-huh. 5, verse 6. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. All right, so the Lord thy God brought us out of the land of Egypt. Come on. From the house of bondage. From the house of bondage. Slavery. All right, you understand? All right, so let's go back to Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. So you understand. It said, the Lord, come on, read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. The Lord shall bring us into Egypt again. So you understand because just like children, you got children? All right, I have children as well. And my children don't do what I tell them to do. They get punished, right? Right. Your children do as well? Yours as well? That's what happens. So for our punishment, we got sent into Egypt again, slavery again. You understand? All right, come on, read. Into Egypt again with ships. With ships. You understand? Scattered to the four corners of the earth. To the four winds, you understand? We were scattered in slavery, you understand? Why we got up under the white man's slavery and we was disobedient? What they were supposed to, they was better or something? Or? Okay, woman. I'm wondering how did we get right, up under them? And they human woman. just like us. All right. They human just like us, right? Verse, Deuteronomy 28, verse 47. Uh -huh. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God, with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. You understand that, sis? Because we didn't keep his commandments with joyfulness and gladness. We're supposed to be happy. The Most High God had made us a royal priesthood, a royal people. So for our women to wear dresses, that is a royal look. For our men to be in pants and have beards, that is a royal look. You understand? That's what we were given by the Most High God. All right? Read that from the top again. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness, and with gladness of heart. So, a lot of times it's like, right now we know when is Christmas? December 25th, right? All right, uh, when is Father's Day? Sunday. Mm -hmm. Sunday, huh? Okay, all right, well, when is uh, Halloween? Okay, all right. So, all right, so when is uh, the new moon? That's 
Okay. Mm. All right. Well, let's let's try another one. So, when is the feast of dedication? Mm. That's right. That's right. Okay. You, you understand what's going on? Yeah. You understand? It's like these holidays can be found in the scriptures. Right. Those are high holy days. The your new moon. Your, your, your feast of dedication, your feast of tabernacles. Those are high, high holy days the Most High God gave us. The That's Sabbath. Right. It's a day of rest, a day that the Most High God gave us. Because we didn't serve the Lord with joyfulness and gladness of heart, that's why our oppressors are over us. That's, that's right. right. That's why that's why we're enslaved. So we're gonna finish up this scripture. Because it goes into us, sis. You understand? Alright, come on. Yeah, read 47 again. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness. And so it's so easy for your blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to remember the holy the holidays of your oppressors, but not keeping the high holy days of God, your father. Yes, right. All right, come on, the creator. Come with on. joyfulness and gladness of heart. Uh -huh. And with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Come on. Therefore, therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies. Therefore, shall you serve your enemies. So we're keeping the holidays that God didn't make. We making them special, but we ain't serving the holidays in the exactly. Bible. Right. There you go, sis. All right, because we didn't serve the, the Lord God glad, uh, in joyfulness and gladness of heart. That's We've taken the on the- come in. Exactly, That's but right. this right here is your education, all right? right. Go to the 10, verse 31. Mm -hmm. And if the people of the land break wear or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day. All right, on the Sabbath or on the holy days. So that's in it. Y'all paying attention? So any of your high holy days, you're not supposed to buy and sell on. So if you're not keeping God's high holy days, you're not keeping God's law. So that's what, what you need to learn how to do. What else are you supposed to do on the Sabbath day? Rest. Rest? Study his word. Study his word? Let's get all. Yeah, let's get that. Exodus chapter 16 and verse 23. All right. And he said unto them, This is that which the Lord has said. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. Bake that which he will bake today, and see it that he will see it. And that which remaineth over, lay up for you to be kept until the morning. All right, so you're supposed to prepare for the Sabbath. Right. So if, you're gonna, if you want something that you particularly like, to have cooked, you cook that thing before the Sabbath comes in. Really? Right. All right. So that's what you're supposed to do. All right. Uh, let's also see because you have some people. Let's get um, Exodus uh, 31 and 16. Yeah. All right. So you have some people that call themselves Seven Day Adventists. So they say they're keeping the Sabbath. All right. So let's find out what the Sabbath is. Come on. Exodus 31 and 16. Uh-huh. Wherefore the children of Israel. Children of Israel, all right, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, come on. You shall keep the Sabbath. All right. To observe the Sabbath throughout their generations. How long? Throughout their generations. So we're supposed to be doing this as long as we're generating, all right? As long as we're generating as a people, we're supposed to be keeping the Most High God's Sabbath day, all right? Come on. For a perpetual covenant. For a what? Perpetual covenant. What does that mean? Perpetual covenant. It's, it's a everlasting covenant. That's right? right. Between who? Read it from the top again. Wherefore the children of Israel. The children of Israel, come on. Shall keep the Sabbath to observe the Sabbath throughout their generation. Uh huh. For a perpetual covenant. Come on. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel. It's for a what? A sign between me and the children of Israel. So if you don't know you're the children of Israel, you're not keeping the Most High God's Sabbath. This right here just said, the scripture just said, it is a perpetual covenant between the children of Israel and the Most High God. So we are supposed to be keeping the Sabbath. All right? Read that. Come on. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel. It's a sign between the Most High God and the children of Israel. Come on. Forever. Forever. How long? Forever. Just two weeks. Forever. All right. Just just until we go into slavery. Forever. Forever. So we're supposed to be keeping the Most High God's uh, high holy days. Leviticus 23. Let's go to Leviticus 23. No. So earlier we we learned one of the curses said uh, because we didn't keep the Most High God's 
uh, uh, Sabbath, his holy days, uh, with joyfulness of glass, gladness of heart that we would go into slavery. All right? We know the oppressors how holy days are holy days, holidays, more so than a most high God's holiday. All right? right? So we're going to find out. Leviticus 23 and 3. Leviticus 23 and 3. Six days shall work be done, uh -huh. but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest. Jump up to verse 2. Verse 2. Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them concerning the feast of the Lord, which he shall proclaim to be holy convocation. All right, so y'all understand in Leviticus 23 is where you can find the most high God's high holy days. It's feast. Y'all understand that? All right, come on. Even these are my feasts. Uh -huh. Six days shall work be done. Come on. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest uh -huh. and holy convocation. Come on. He shall do no work therein. It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. All right, so wherever you go, when the Sabbath comes in, you keep the Sabbath day of the Most High God. You understand that? All right, come on, uh, verse 4. These are the feasts of the Lord, even holy convocations, come on. which he shall proclaim in their seasons. So we're supposed to convocate and come together on the Sabbath day. You understand that? Uh, Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 25. Yeah. All right, come on. Hebrews 10 and 25. Uh -huh. Not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together, as the matter of some is. All right, so are y'all going to assemble today on the Sabbath day? Keep his day holy? Well, I'm from Texas. Where, I just got to down here. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? I'm right here. You're going to go right here? I'm right here. Okay, all right. All right, I'll read that from again. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the matter of some is, uh -huh. but exhorting one another. And so much the more as you see the day approaching. All right, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. So as you see the day of the Lord coming, you are supposed to gather together and keep his Sabbath day. All right. All right. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.